chapter three. We are going to learn how to maintain our database. So we're going to do a lot of querying and we will also do some additions and subtractions from the database itself. So if you'll turn to page AC140, you'll see number five says to open Bavant Publishing. So however you open access, go ahead and do that now. And since I'm on my home computer, I can see here's my chapter one, here's my chapter two. And I'm going to open the one for my chapter two. If you've chosen to go ahead and keep the same one all the time, that's awesome. And just open that. If you have chosen to save it in different chapters each time, then open up the one from chapter two. And you need to save it into your chapter three. So I'm going to do save as, save database as, save as, and then I'm going to navigate to my work and I'm going to make a chapter three folder. And hit save. Now any changes that I'll do to this will not change anything from my previous Bavant Publishing in Chapter 2. If you get the security warning, go ahead and just click on Enable Content button. Now on page four, 141, you're going to create a, a split form. So make sure that you have your customer table selected. Click on Create. Then choose More Forms. And we're going to choose a split form. All right. Now, on page 142, it says to click Form a View button. So if you go down here, as you slide over, you can tell which view each of these buttons are. All right, and as you can see, the first one is Form View. So we will click on Form View. Now, Layout View, just for a reminder, Layout View is where you can rearrange how this is set up. On form view, that is where you will go in and add and take out customers and, and you can change up the information. This is where you do all the editing of the information itself. Okay, now on page 143, it tells us to go ahead and save it. So we're gonna click on save and we are gonna make a customer form called customer split Form. So customer split form, then say OK. And then we are going to go to the next page 143 at the bottom to use a form to add records. It wants us to click on a new blank record. Now, if you'll look down here, remember we talked in the previous chapters that this is how you can quickly navigate from run re one record to another. There is the last record, and you could even type in a specific record here. So if I wanted to go to 12, I can do that. All right, and this button right here is the new blank record, which is what the book is asking us to do. So we will click on that. It gives us a blank form. And then if you'll look on figure 3-6, that is the information that you will add in. So it is C-R-U-1-1, and just hit tab. The customer name is Christie University 1200. All right, y'all got it. Place, Pleasantburg. Sounds like a nice town. And I'm just tabbing, going from one to the other. And postcode looks like 07025. Amount paid is zero. Now I only have to type a zero. I don't do not put in the dollar sign nor the period. You just type the zero, let the computer uh, format it for you. So hit tab from there and voila, it formats it for you. Same thing for current due. You'll just type in the numbers one, four, two, five zero 
that's all you need to type in when you hit tab it automatically adds the dollar the comma and the other two zeros for decimals now if you had a decimal place like if it was fourteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars and one cent then you would have to type the point oh one but as long as you have no cents there's <laughs> as long as you have no pennies afterwards then there is no need to type anything or type the period after returns a zero so we'll just type a zero and hit tab and then the BR number is 42 alright and then you are done so we're going to hit tab it automatically adds another blank form but that's okay it would do the same thing if you were adding this in at the customer table notice that it also added it in down here that's what we just put in alright and notice that we now have 17 records with the blank one being number 17 alrighty so we are going to close the form and check this out voila now we're going to go to the customer table and the, what we just added should be in here CRU there we go awesome right okay so we're going to close that that was just so you would see. Now on page 144, it says open the navigation pane, right click customer split form, open. Then we are going to find, so here's our find section. Click on the find button. And we are gonna find PLI22, customer number PLI22 find next. Now all we have to do is hit cancel and they would like us to add a hyphen in between the T and the L of Pratt Last Institute. So it needs to be Pratt dash Last Institute. Hit tab so that it is accepted and then we are going to close it. All right. Now, now, on page 145, we're going to reopen our split form. And this time,